today in our 2015 Ram 3500, we're going to be taking a look at installing the Takancha Prada GP3 trailer brake controller for one to four axles, part number 90195. In conjunction, we're going to be also installing the Takancha plug-in wiring adapter for electric trailer controllers for a Ram, part number 3024-P. Now here's what it's going to look like once we have it installed. Right now we have our tester hooked on the back, so it's going to show us our amount of braking power. If you take your manual switch and run it up, you'll see it come up. And one of the biggest differences between this one and some other ones we sell is the five different setting parameters you can have for different trailers or different operators. It's going to give you a little bit more customization for your trailers or your operators. And you're going to have three separate boost levels, which your boost is going to control your aggressiveness of how fast your brakes come on in your trailer opposed to how they come on in your vehicle. This is a fully proportional system, so the harder you step on your brake pedal in your vehicle, the more it's going to apply the brakes in the trailer. But if you run your boost up, it'll come on a little sooner as you step on the brakes in your, on your vehicle. You can adjust your power levels with our up and down switch here. And we're going to have a setup menu that's going to give you your display, your brake type. So this will work with electric brakes or if you have electric over hydraulic, it'll work with them as well. It's for up to four axles or eight sets of brakes. What's nice about this system is it actually is portable. So if you want to take it from one vehicle to another, you're just going to unsnap it, slip it down, and we'll unplug it. And you can put it in another vehicle and just tuck this to the side. Comes with a nice storage case. You can just slip it inside when you're not using it. And you can stow it away. And when you're ready to use it, you're just going to take it out of your case, plug in your harness, and you'll slip it back into position, and we're ready to go. It does have an onboard diagnostic, so if something is not working properly, it's going to light up on your screen in a red screen and tell you where to check it out. Now, many of our customers have said this provides a nice, smooth, even braking system for their trailer as they're towing with it. Now, let's go ahead and show you how to install it. Now, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and drop down this panel. For, for your installation purposes, it probably won't be necessary, but we're going to pull it down so we can show you exactly where your harness is going to be located. There's two Phillips screws. Once you have those two screws down, you can just pull out at the bottom and you slip it forward and we'll just drop it out of place. Now I'm going to unplug this plug that goes in the back of this fan that's built into the dash. So I'm just going to squeeze it on this little tab and release it just to let us have some more room for it to drop down. Now your factory wiring is going to be just kind of taped on with this little piece of tape. Ours is actually had popped loose. So you're going to get this gray plug here. It's got four wires that go into it. There's going to be a green, a green with a white tracer, an orange, and a black. Then we'll take our new connector, which is going to be a four wire also. It's going to be different colors. That's okay. They're going to match up. And we'll just snap this into position. Listen for the snap. Give it a nice tug. That's going to be all we're going to have to do to attach this into our factory wiring. Then we're going to go ahead and mount our controller to the front side of our dash. We've chosen this location right here. You know, as a note, if your vehicle has a factory controller that no longer works, and you decide instead of buying another factory controller, you can just replace it with an aftermarket as our Ticancha, you would simply unplug this gray plug that would be plugged into a black control box. It's going to be mounted in the same location that this factory wiring is going to be at. And you can just unplug it. You're going to plug it into here and you can plug in your Takancha controller. Now you do want to make sure that you're going to have to get, if you do something like that, you would have to take it to the dealer to have your computer reflashed to eliminate the factory controller out of your truck's system. Otherwise you're going to see some messages on your dash. Now our controller does come with two brackets. There's this plastic bracket 
it's going to make it more of a quick release and more portable design or if you didn't want your controller hanging out of your dash when you're not using it you can just unsnap it and take it out or there's a more permanent solution which is this metal bracket they would mount onto the sides with some screws and attach to the dash as well now we've chosen we're going to use the quick connect style so we can go ahead and slip our dash panel back into place paying attention to where we can mount it so if we stay in this area right here we'll be fine we're not going to interfere with anything that's in our dash so we'll snap this back on you'll slide that over top snap it back in the position and we'll replace our two Phillips screws to go to the bottom side of our dash We're going to mount our small metal bracket to our dash with the supplied self tapping screws. We're going to take our plastic quick connect bracket and place it in there. Now, once you get this screw started, if you have any trouble with it, you can always just drop your panel back down and attach your screw and put it back up into place. We'll take the other half of our plug, we're going to snap it into the back of our controller. As you can see it came alive. Then we'll slide this into position. We'll tie our wiring up under the dash. Take a couple zip ties and tie up our harness. trim this part off and we can tie it up underneath our dash to keep it out of the way and stop it from falling down onto our feet. We're just going to wrap it around some factory wiring up there. As you can see as we step on our brake, it's going to be proportional on the trailer as well. And that's going to do it for our look at and install of the Takancha Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller for one to four axles, part number 90195 on our 2015 Ram 3500.